Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanase here. So revealing one of the newest campaign types Google Ads has just released. Now we all know that with the recent time changes, with the recent things going on in the world, advertising platforms have been constantly upping their game, whether it is the iOS 14 update or the constant policy changes and new ad account bans with Google Ads. Basically everything has been all over the place this year and that has simply come about because of the changing demand man in the ways customers buy online. So as e-commerce store owners, we literally have no choice but to adapt to these changes and just to basically go with the flow. And that's exactly what you need to be doing with the newest campaign type Google Ads has just recently released, which is called the Performance Max campaign type. Now we're going to be talking about exactly what this is, how it affects you as an e-commerce store owner or just a Google Ads advertiser and what you should be doing about this. Before that, you're going to have to watch until the end of this video but without wasting any more time let's just jump right into it first thing you'll have to do in order to find any type of success with these performance max campaigns however is to destroy that like button until it turns blue and subscribe if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos while clicking that bell notification button right on the right side it really helps me out and you get to stay up to date with my content weekly okay hopefully you have destroyed the like button down below and subscribe but performance max campaign exactly what is performance max campaign we're going to be looking directly at google's advertising blog to learn about this campaign type so here as you can see they've talked about a lot of things regarding performance max campaigns one thing i want you to basically look at is the first sentence right over here so according to google performance max campaigns have basically come into play because of an unpredictable year, meaning because of the changes and because of the uncertainties that went on during this year, going from 2020 into 2021 was a big change when it came to e-commerce sales. And in this first sentence right here, Google has basically told you that as an advertiser, Google Ads is much smarter than you because it believes that its algorithm can take control of the new changes coming about, especially during unpredictable times, which I personally do not agree with because at the end of the day, this is an algorithm, this is a machine. A machine can only do so much when it comes to dealing with uncertain times or just real changes in the world. For example, whatever went on in 2020, nobody could predict that that would have happened, let alone a machine. So it doesn't really make sense to me that Google Ads would bring about this because of the uncertainty that's going on in the world when in reality even humans can't predict uncertainty and the machine itself can only play based off of the data we humans give to it so that's one thing i noticed right away from google's performance max campaigns but we can also see that Google goes on and talks about how there have been more image related searches done, for instance, the yard landscaping ideas, or just in general, whatever searches may be done for Google images or within Google Maps and so forth. But before we really read further here, we need to know exactly what a Google Performance Max campaign is. So according to this blog right over here, the Performance Max campaign is going to basically utilize a mix of different automation and machine learning algorithms and overall data to basically help you as an advertiser execute your conversion goal. And with a Google Performance Max campaign, you have the ability to reach across multiple different advertising platforms all from a single campaign. Now, this is one of the benefits of Performance Max campaigns that I really like simply because now you don't have to worry about creating a separate display campaign. You don't have to really go about creating search campaigns because now with the Performance Max campaign, you'll have access to running your ad on YouTube, display ad, search, discover, Gmail, and even Google Maps, which is really something cool that we really didn't have access to before. So with one single Performance Max campaigns, you will be shown across all of these different advertising platforms, which is of course a benefit in a lot of ways because now you're going to get more eyeballs on your ads that means more impressions and the ability to scale further and faster that too but basically performance max campaigns as it says right over here will complement your keyword based search campaigns basically they will go hand in hand because the search campaign might provide data to the performance max campaign and vice versa and it's going to help boost the performance throughout all of the full range of advertising platforms and inventory Google offers. So again, all of these platforms right over here. Plus, according to Google, one more time, performing max campaigns help you promote your business across all of Google's advertising platforms. And as a result, you have the ability to increase your conversions as well as the overall conversion value, as it says right over here, because now a lot of your bidding, a lot of your entire campaign type strategy will be automated and based on the machine and the algorithm itself. So automation optimizes your budget and your bids 
across the different channels by themselves. So really with performance max campaigns, you're taking away your own control and giving more of it to Google ads. But in addition, performance max campaigns have the ability to find you new customers in unseen audience segments. So as it says right over here, you have the ability to unlock new audience segments by using Google's real time understanding, basically Google's algorithm and data, which takes information from your customers or just people visiting your website or visiting any random page on your website it gets its user intent the behavior and the context to show up in the right moment with the right kind of ads and of course like this review says right over here performance max campaigns can be made very very quickly and at scale to optimize the entire journey so you don't have to spend a bunch of time now creating these different campaigns because a performance max campaign will give you all of the ability to do that just within one single campaign but best part of all which i really like one more time is that performance max campaigns give you richer insight when it comes to looking at your data so as we see right here within this screenshot from a performance max campaign it's giving you the information like your week overview the overall conversion increase percentage the overall cost percentage average cpa and so forth so right away just from this image we can see that the data is really working in the back end and whatever information it is catching it's reinserting that into your campaign and your algorithm to then become smarter as a whole so this is one thing that i really like and the insights page within the performance max campaigns will help you improve your overall performance as a whole according to google Ads. just because this campaign type is very automated it does not mean that you don't have to work anymore of course you have to still work in fact according to number four right over here you need to provide high quality creative assets so some kinds of text-based ads or some kind of images logos and so forth within this performance-based campaign so essentially very similar to a smart shopping campaign and by the way with a lot of my google ads marketing clients we find that smart shopping campaigns work really well so implementing a performance max campaign with a smart shopping can really do the trick and by the way if you do run an e-commerce store that does over thirty thousand dollars a month in sales and you want to start using google ads or you already use google ads but you want somebody else to control your ads for you just go on over to my website at yourroommarketing.com and book a call with my team to see if we can work together and possibly have these performance max campaigns running on your website along with smart shopping campaigns but definitely you need to provide some kind of data to these performance max campaigns and that is pretty much the gist of what performance max campaigns are overall right over here now going back to this article right over here you get to create performance max campaigns right from the online sales section but performance max campaigns are not available for everybody this is a beta version still if you want performance max campaigns enabled on your account you will need to speak to a google ads rep by contacting their support team or if there's one dedicated to just your account just go ahead and reach out to him and ask him to enable this type of campaign for you because i know personally i will be enabling this both on my e-commerce stores as well as my clients e-commerce stores but one thing you want to understand is if you have other search campaigns running or even standard shopping campaigns running plus smart shopping you do not want to shut them off just for performance max campaigns because as i mentioned earlier in this video these campaigns all are going to be working hand in hand they're going to feed each other data so you cannot just find results with one single performance max campaign running you need other campaigns kind of getting the data and then feeding it within your account to these other campaigns for them to work hand in hand and to really get this performance max campaign going because again performance max campaign works off of the data and algorithm it really takes away a control that you have on your accounts and it basically puts the control into the data and algorithms hand so you really don't want to give too much control to it and because of that you want to be running other campaign types as well but how do you exactly get started with performance max campaigns right here this blog post right here tells you what you need to have so first of all you need a google ads conversion tracking install number two you need to be running that performance max campaign for at least four weeks or you need to have other campaign types running for a minimum of four weeks before you can really incorporate this plus you need some text ads going on within your performance max campaign so three by 30 character headline two times 90 character descriptions one by 90 character headline and then images these are the following images that you will need a video is recommended but it's optional so you don't really need one but if you have a e-commerce store which is a branded e-commerce store or a niche specific e-commerce store a video can really do the trick and once you provide all of the necessary information your performance campaign will get to work but exactly how do you go about creating a performance max campaign so right over here i have opened the screen again you will need to contact your google ads support rep in order to have this enabled on your account but 
for people with merchant center fees and i'm assuming a lot of the e-commerce store owners or at least you watching my video have a merchant center feed so here's exactly what you need to do you need to first sign into your google ads account then on the left side choose campaigns from campaigns you want to go ahead and create a brand new campaign so you want to go ahead and click that plus button and then you do not want to create a campaign without a goal guidance you want to create a campaign by choosing sales again if you have performance max campaigns enabled you should see it after you click sales if it's not visible there contact your support rep but go ahead and click sales and then you want to choose all of the information that pops up select your merchant center feed account and then in the bottom it should mention whether you want a performance max campaign or any other types of campaigns go ahead and choose performance max campaigns but once you do that you'll be taken to the budget bidding and all of the other normal pages you want to go ahead and follow my youtube videos that i put up for those pages just put the same settings as i always recommend or if you want to really go in depth and find the exact numbers and what they mean get my google ads mastery course the link is gadsmastery.com that goes really in depth into that so i'm not going to really cover that here but everything else is pretty much the same exact setup besides the first page where you will be choosing performance max instead of standard shopping or smart shopping or any of the other campaign types but that is pretty much it for performance max campaigns now for my own opinion on performance max campaigns they're very interesting but i at the same time, I do not like giving Google and its algorithm too much control because when a machine has too much control, it basically decides for itself and you as an advertiser lose a lot of the control. Of course, even though a machine might be smarter than you, at the end of the day, you can predict what is going on in the world by looking at some things like the news and reading blog articles and so forth and the performance max campaign or google's algorithm as a whole really can't do that so while performance max campaigns do steal a lot of your control they still have very good potential to succeed because as i mentioned smart shopping campaigns are really working well for us and for a lot of our clients so performance max campaign is definitely one campaign type i will be implementing on a lot of my clients accounts as well as my own e-commerce stores but if you want me to keep you up to date as to how performance max campaigns go just let me know down in the comment section and i will provide videos and updates on my results with them but again if you're doing over thirty thousand dollars in sales and want somebody else to run your google ads for you just go ahead and go onto my website yourroommarketing.com and book a call with my team to see if we're a good fit but if you found any type of value in this video destroy that like button and destroy that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time